I wanted to share something good with you, and that's about a VPS, the virtual private servers. All of us use them. I do. You do, most likely, if you click on this video. And anyone who has something to do with all sort of different software and just wants to test out all sort of different things on different distributions, operating systems, cases, and so on and so on, will use the virtual machine, right? And uh, there's plenty of options which you can do. Like I myself have also the Oracle VirtualBox, which is the, I guess, most simplest way. You just install the virtual machines on your own computer. You don't need to pay anything for that. But there are some downsides. Like, first of all, you need to have ISO image of the distribution that you want to install. Second thing, every time you want to do that, you basically need to install the operating system as well. Third, if you started out at your home to do the tests of whatever you want, and let's say you have a desktop and tomorrow you are somewhere else with your laptop, you don't have normally access to this virtual machine. There are other options and um, those are usually paid like i don't know i myself made a video about all sort of different uh, cloud providers and then trying to find the one which offers the best uh free virtual machine with some limitations and constraints of course but basically you can go with uh, aws which is like a very popular solution with the ec2 and something that you're gonna pay like for t4g small uh two cpus two gigs is gonna be uh for the on demand uh, basically twelve dollars but that's without uh without the storage i myself used for a very long time DigitalOcean just because it's also some sort of like a standard for a vps provider but pricing wise again it's not so cheap if we take a look on the pricing for the droplets again uh two gigs two cpus the same that we checked in aws it's 18 dollars. well this one includes 60 gigs of uh, ssd which aws does not include so basically it's kind of the same and then suddenly like i was not looking i don't actually remember i think someone recommended it to me but i found about a hesner cloud and uh, that's kind of first experience for me i've created like two or three virtual machines but the best thing here is like first of all you can create a project okay you can do the same probably in the digital ocean so it's easier for grouping like there is a category for each of your projects and you can create a virtual machines inside the, inside the categories and also share uh, permissions if you are working together with someone else but the most important look at the pricing so if you go to your project whatever you want to deploy the server you don't have any server yet so click add server and here is how you can do that and we're actually going to do that together first of all you choose the location either it's going to be helsinki i think it might be like auto uh detected based on my ip address um we can go with i don't know you central Falkenstein. Cool. Image, the operating system that you want to use. You can either choose Ubuntu, different versions, Fedora, Debian, CentOS, Rocky Linux, Alma Linux, OpenSUSE. I myself recently use mostly and only Alma Linux. Alma Linux 9 is perfectly fine. You can also deploy apps, and by the way, like if you want to install the WordPress, there you go, just choose this. We're going with the operating system and we're going with Alma Linux. Type shared CPU or dedicated CPU. Dedicated always going to be more extensive and uh, dedicated is going to be suitable if you're like really deploying some production system that is critical with the performance and, and uh, traffic and everything else. If you're just spinning up something to test things out, then the shared vCPU is going to be much better. Networking, if you want to have a public IPv6 that's free of the charge, so I don't need it, so I just uncheck it. Primary IPs of type IPv4, so there's the cost for IPv4 for the public one. I'm not sure about the pricing. No, actually, I'm sure about the pricing. In the AWS, the price I think is 350 for one plastic IP for a month. SSH keys, if you want them, uh, create them here. If not, once the virtual machine is created, you will receive an email with the password to the root user to log in volumes if you need them firewalls backups placement groups labels cloud config so honestly saying you don't need anything else um server name wait i forgot the most important thing uh cpus right so shared vcpu this and here are the prices like remember we checked two cpus two gigs of the memory which costed us like 1250 on 
AWS and 14 in the DigitalOcean. If we go with... Um, the thing is that we don't even have... Oh no, here it is. Two CPUs and two gigs of the memory will cost us 466 euros a month, which is almost like three times cheaper than in DigitalOcean and then in AWS and honestly in some other providers as well. You can also go with this one, like two vCPUs on Intel and four gigs of RAM. So twice more than this, 40 gigs SSD, uh, 20 terabytes of the traffic, and that's not going to cost you even four euros per month, right? So it's extremely cheap. And you might say that, okay, okay, wait, but these are the shared vCPUs and, and in DigitalOcean, you actually get a dedicated one's lies. It's just not true. And DigitalOcean state them themselves. Like if you go to the same droplet pricing here, but if you go here in the documentation, dedicated, so here it is. The basic plan is a shared, uh, a shared CPU and GP is dedicated. So getting back to the prices, these are the basics, so these are also shared CPU power. And if you go, let's say for general purpose, they don't even offer with like two or four gigs, but uh, two CPUs and eight gigs are gonna cost you $63. If again, we go to the Hetzner for a dedicated CPU, uh, two CPUs and eight gigs are gonna cost you $14. So 14 versus 63. The difference is amazing. And I would be careful about like whenever you look in, I don't know, like that's pretty hot topic people are talking about. Mostly um, many of these cloud providers pay uh, YouTubers or someone else to advertise their product. Straightforward, Hedzner did not pay me a single bucks. And, and as I said, I've created uh, this um, my account just a couple of days ago and deployed a couple of virtual machines. And I did want to share my referral link with you. And in comparison with the other ones, like referral doesn't earn me any money. It would give me just the credits. And as you see, I tried, but I cannot because not yet possible. Your account is not eligible because I haven't paid anything uh, so far. I uh, didn't have any invoice, but I already had a couple of virtual machines where I tested things out. Or you must have paid Hezner account cloud invoices totaling at least 100 euros. So I did a couple of tests and there's my usage for cents. I think I created like two or three virtual machines, played around, recorded some videos, and my total is four cents. But if I would have an option to create this referral link, I would definitely do that. And I most likely also would use ChatGPT to create some text informing you that you will actually get 20 euros free of charge if you use my registration link. And the reality is that I've used the ChatGPT tools for quite a long time, but after listening to a couple of podcasts about AI usage in real world scenarios, I thought whether there is a way for me to improve my experience. That's when I found something great, Skillshare, who is also the video sponsor. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, packed with thousands of expert-led classes across illustration, design, animation, film, photography, entrepreneurship, and so much more. Whether you're just starting out or looking to level up your skills, there's something for everyone, trust me. So as I said, I was looking for ways to improve my experience with ChatGPT, and I came across an incredible class. ChatGPT for Creatives, AI Powered SEO, Marketing and Productivity by Peggy Dean on the Skillshare. One of the biggest takeaways for me was about AI hallucination and a fact that it's always necessary to provide AI with a maximum information like uploading some PDFs, research and the maximum amount of info that you got from the solid sources feed that in AI to improve its knowledge. Because if you're relying solely on what AI knows himself, it's just not gonna be enough to receive a good result. And of course, it's not just about an AI. Skillshare has classes on everything from development to creativity and inspiration. So if you ever wanted to learn something new, this is the perfect place to start. And the best part, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So why not take this opportunity to start your learning journey today? Just click on the link below and get started. So 
let's get back to the video itself. And to get back to the video itself, like I promised you that we will create a virtual machine and to create a virtual machine. Again, let's go back to my YouTube project. Let's go back to the servers, add a new server. I'm going to use the Falkenstein U Central again, and I'm going to go with Alma Linux shared vCPU. Something that I normally use is just two vCPUs and four gigs of RAM. That's fully sufficient to run all sort of the tests. Uh, I don't need a public IPv6 SSH keys. Probably should use them for the security. I don't uh, because like when I'm do the testings, I don't post expose my IP address anywhere. And when I'm done, I just delete the virtual machine. The same I'm going to do after this video volumes, firewalls, backups, you don't need anything that so name auto generated is fine. Here you can see the total price. So I'm paying for one server, 3.98 euros and one IPv4 address that's going to be the public address so I can access it from anywhere. It's going to cost us 60 cents per month. And in AWS, remember, it was 350. So the total is four dollars fifty nine cents for euros 59 cents right create and buy now this is spinning up right now so once this is reaches to 100 percent 50 percent 100 percent less than a minute ago server is created and let me actually so let me find my email as i said um the password and the access is sent to you to the email let me show you how it looks I will just paste the screenshot. I don't want to show you everything that I receive in my email. So here we have IP address and I can try to connect to it. Uh, Mobile X term and that one is loading. And uh, so here is IP address that I received. SSH, specify username, root and accept. And it asks for the password, a password that I received in my email. Paste it here. No, I don't want to save it new password, create something and restart. Oops, wrong. Wait, give me a sec. Wrong password. There we go. Don't want to save. There we go. Alma for gigs, uh, cat, Etsy, Red Hat release, Alma Linux 9.5. Here is our Alma Linux for gigs FSN one. So that is something I'm using personally right now and will continue to use in my tests and video making and whatever. Hope you get a fun of this and use of this. So try Hesner Cloud yourself. Let me know in the comments what do you think. Thank you guys for watching. See you later. Bye bye.